Halo Infinity to be announced at E3. Well, stay tuned throughout the video and find out more information about it. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay gaming video here for you. And we're talking about some potential leaks right here for E3 2018. If you don't know, it's coming right around the corner. Uh, Microsoft's conference is going to be this Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 p.m. was a BST, which I believe is in British standard time, something like that. Recently, the executive producer of Thurot, I believe is how you pronounce it, maybe Thoreau, if you want to be French about it, link will be in the description down below. Uh, the executive producer, Brad Sams, recently tweeted out two tweets talking about Halo. One of them was a new Halo game at E3, possibly called Halo Infinity. He also does state that this is just word on the street, but thing, and things are subject to change. Now I did report on a previous leak as well about the next Halo game name called Halo Genesis. And this obviously kind of plays into the part of two locations within the Halo universe. Obviously Infinity referencing the ship or Genesis referencing the planet that the uh, Forerunners I believe were founded on or the planet where all the, um, you know, where the final mission took place in Halo 5. This was also reported on VG247, that website, that news gaming news website. And you know, a lot of times they have rather you know, respectable articles, so I don't think they just try to jump on every single leak that's happening, but this could be a potential name for the next Halo game. Either way, both leaks for either Genesis or Infinity both reference how there is gonna be no number for this next Halo game, which could be something a little bit more interesting, which I think you'd want to continue on with the numbers because Halo 4 is a continue, the Halo 5 is a continuation of Halo 4's story. And if you want to continue with Halo 5's story, you should probably title it 6 for continuity, but that's just my opinion though. Um, they also mentioned that well, with a name called Infinity, that um, this article does mention that possibly that moving the game to possibly a game uh, by service, meaning that it's going to be kind of like a baseline game that will stick around for probably like five or six years or even or something like that, but constantly getting updates and changes to the game. So what could this mean for the franchise if the game is titled Halo Infinity and if it's referencing the ship? That seems rather diff different. Maybe this could be a much more space battle oriented game. Uh, if you guys have read any of the books, which I've read Fall of Reach, there's a ton of gigantic space battles that happen in that game. So we're not sorry in that book and so it would make sense to maybe try to implement more space battles into the game we touched on that a little bit just a little bit in halo reach with a really fun mission out in space which was great i really enjoyed that mission i wish i would see more of them or having halo infinity be a reference to a game as a service so we're constantly getting continuous updates with the game so you're not gonna see major updates as in like a brand new game or new graphics or anything like that because I think right now the graphics can generally hold rather well for about four to five years it seems like and so i would be rather interested in seeing if uh you know if we really have we'll have a true competitive game have halo be back up to one of the main games for esports you'd want to have pretty much the same mechanics consistently throughout you know the time people are playing and getting better at this game so if it's next, the next game is going to be like a five year long game then three or three better better, better have at least you know, three years worth of updates to kind of keep people playing the game. Uh, so that's just my opinion on that, which it'd be an interesting take on Halo. I think it would be uh, probably actually really good for a nice consistent basis. So then we know that, okay, this is going to be the game. We also keep speculating about what's going to happen next or how we're going to change things. This is the game. Now we have to deal with it and, and you know enjoy it or you know find a different game pretty much. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you think about the title of it possibly being you know Halo Infinity. With E3 coming so close around the corner, these leaks could be very true. Uh, it's been mentioned also that Brad Sams here was actually and uh, his, his website Thurot. I thought if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's actually had a rather decent track record with other Microsoft related leaks and information as well. So this could be very true. It would make sense for that to be the title uh, because it's you know very you know it's a title that's referencing something within Halo. And I think three for three has even mentioned they wanted the kind of room jump off of the numbered uh, titles, which would make sense in a way that but there. But I think as if you're continuing the same story from Halo Five, which I think you would have to the way Halo Five ended. 
you kind of want to call it Halo 6 and maybe let that be the last Halo numbered Halo game. That's just my opinion, though. So anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I know it's kind of a really, you know, minute kind of news update thing, but, you know, I just want to keep everyone in the loop as well because I find it, you know, I get hyped about these kind of things when it comes to, uh, related to Halo and E3. I am super excited about this. Uh, I will probably, I will definitely be making a ton of videos about Halo, uh, you know, Infinity, Genesis 6, whatever you want to call it, uh, when that information comes out. Uh, so I'll be staying tuned to E3 like a hawk. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure to tap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below what you thought about it. And subscribe to stay up to date with any more Halo news coming your way. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.